This is the LK5 Pro 3D printer from Longer 3D. Today I'm going to unbox it, go over the pros and the cons of this printer, and finally put it to the test by printing some of the most difficult geometries known to the 3D printing world. Let's get started. This printer was sent over to me by Longer 3D as a review unit in this massive box packed with high density foam. It looks like you could throw this thing halfway across the room without breaking it. Anyways, it comes in three main parts with little assembly required. The hot end gantry and the vertical frame slide together, and then the frame is bolted into the base. After a few wires are plugged in, you're ready to go. It was fairly easy to put together with the included instructions and only took me about 15 minutes. First, let's take a look at the specs of this printer. It's got a massive build area of 300 by 300 millimeters and a height of 400 millimeters. This is great if you want to print large models in a single piece instead of printing two pieces and then gluing them together. I think the large volume is the main selling point for this printer. It provides such a large build area while competing with other printers at the $350 price point. Did I mention that this thing only costs $350? Well, it does, and you can get it for even cheaper using the link and discount code in the description. This printer comes with a 0.4mm nozzle installed, although you can always change this out. It also uses a Bowden extruder system with a highly temperature resistant Teflon tube. I've accumulated over 100 hours of print time on this printer, and the nozzle hasn't clogged up a single time. Also, I've never had to level the bed since the initial setup. The nozzle can heat up to a maximum of 250 degrees Celsius, and this printer features a heated bed. This means it can print PLA, ABS, PETG, TPU, and really any other filament that can be printed at or below 250 degrees. Additionally, the glass bed allows for great part adhesion, while it remains easy to get prints off once it cools down. Personally, I really like the design of this printer. The A-frame is a really good addition that adds a lot of stability. However, I would have liked to see two motors on the Z-axis instead of one. Because the electronics are neatly tucked underneath the printer and the cable management sleeves are excellent, this printer is also a great option if you don't want a bowl of spaghetti for a printer. There are two especially notable features on this printer that I want to mention because they were missing on my previous one. First is the touchscreen. It can be used to control the movement of the axes, to level the bed, adjust temperatures, and load prints. This is much more convenient than having to navigate through a series of menus with a single knob. Second are the silent stepper drivers. I'm serious, you can't hear any of the motors moving when compared to my other 3D printer. This is how my previous printer sounded. And this is how the LK5 Pro sounds. This would be an amazing feature if it weren't for the unfortunately loud fans on the power supply and electronics. This printer comes with a micro SD card so that you can load G-code directly from it. Good job on sending an SD card with a lot of storage compared to my other printer. But I have to say the placement of the SD card slot is a little bit awkward. It's not that big of a deal, but if someone from Longer 3D is watching this, please just add a micro SD card extension that comes to the front of the printer. Now, I could talk all day about this printer, but instead I'm going to actually print some test models and let you judge the quality for yourself. However, if you would like to see a more exhaustive pros and cons list after this video, check out some of the links in the description to other reviews. First up, we have the most common benchmark print, the Benchy. Everything here was printed with a 0.4mm nozzle, and this Benchy came with the printer on the SD card already sliced. This is how the Benchy turned out. Pretty good if you ask me. There's no drooping on the hull, there's very minimal stringing, there's a little bit of wisps in the cabin, but no major strings. And lots of the details, such as the holes in the back and the steering wheel, are visible. The arches also came out very nicely, indicating acceptable bridging performance. Next up, a tolerance test print to see how precise this printer is. Every pin slides right out except for the 0.2mm pin. This means that the printer is capable of printing a 0.3mm tolerance in the XY direction. Finally, we have a lattice cube. Printing one of these requires very good cooling. I know that many other people have tested that longer LK5 Pro and complained that the cooling was inadequate due to the type of fan used. However, it looks like they changed the fan style, at least on my printer, so let's test it out. Wow, it printed correctly on the first try. The only small defect I could find was a little messiness on the overhangs, indicating, again, a slight lack of cooling. And with that, my testing is complete, and I can print some more fun models. This cylinder maze. This puzzle cube. This giant single wall vase. 
And yes, that is a tomato for scale. And all of these parts for an upcoming video. If you'd like to buy one of these printers, remember the link is in the description and there's a discount code for $20 provided as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.